Hey everybody, welcome back. I have my weekly melts to share with you, so I'm just going to show you what I've melted this week and what I've thought of everything. So I'm going to get started with the ones I've only melted like one or two of from a certain vendor. Actually, I was pretty sporadic this week. I really don't have much of one vendor at all. This first one is from Vintage Chic Scents, and it is in the scent of Gigi. Hopefully you can see that. Um, this is like a honeydew, cantaloupe, melon type scent. And it's a little bit on the lighter side for me. And I think she's reformulated or I haven't tried her new wax. But um, that one's a lighter throw. <clears throat> from Up the Creek Scents, this is a Maple Caramel Pralines. Love this one. It is super rich maple bakery yumminess. It is so good. It's just a really nice, caramely, maple bakery scent. Very not descriptive, I know. But it's amazing. I love it. Nothing bad to say. From Pix Petals and Scents, Fresh Brewed Coffee. This was so freaking strong. Um, it was definitely kind of like the wet coffee grounds. You know, the old way of making coffee with the filter and then you put the coffee in and then when you go to empty it, those wet grounds that have been sitting there. That is exactly what this smelled like. Uber strong. Really good thrower. From Victoria's Designer Creations, this one is in the scent of Holiday Magic. And this one was kind of like, I would say, a citrusy scent. I really didn't get like any pine or there might have been like a citrus and a cinnamon in there. And this is the only one. It was a little light bulb or ornament, whatever you want to call it, wax. This is the only one I've gotten to throw in my lemonade warmer. I bought one of those lemonade warmers. If you're on Facebook, you know what I'm talking about. But um, I can't get nothing to throw in there. And I use the tiniest amount of wax because that's what everybody says. And I still get no throw from that warmer. But this was the only one I only thing I got to throw in there. So maybe it's just her wax. I'll have to experiment with that. From Starlet, this is Pink Mellow Peppermint. This one was a nice pink scent because that peppermint and the marshmallow really helped to dull it down for me. It had a light to medium throw. And it maybe lasted like two hours for me. Next one is Amber. Quit is from Sassy Girl Aroma in Caramel. And this was a really nice caramel. But it was a really tiny chunk. And I did put this in the lemonade warmer and it did throw, so I lied. And I also put one of Sassy Girl Aroma clamshells in there and it threw. So it seems to be only certain wax. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. This had a nice throw to it. It was pretty strong. I'd say a medium throw for me. And it lasted maybe two, three, maybe four hours. From L3, this is Key Lime Lemon Chiffon Birthday Cake. And <clears throat> when I melted this, I think I went a little over the two weeks because they said two weeks for cure time. And then I went on her Facebook page and everybody's saying, Bakery Scents, let them cure for a month. And I have found that that is right. Like with stuff I've melted that has been a month cured or more, it throws completely different than the ones you only let cure for two weeks. This one, I got a light throw on, but that was because I didn't let it cure long enough because I thought it was only two weeks, but it's actually a month. So if you have L3, bakery scents especially, let them cure a month. I know that's hard, but it makes a world of difference when you're melting them, seriously. I mean, her wax kicks butt if you let it cure long enough. So... I didn't know, so that one wasn't very good for me, but like I said, I melted it before a month. From Sweet Fixations, this is Melonade, and this is kind of like a watermelon with lemonade, like a lemonade scent. Um, I did get a light throw. I've never had good luck with this wax. Um, I got this from um, somebody had sent me a bunch of wax that they didn't want, so this was in there. Um, I did get a light throw from it, but it was also in an 18-watt hot plate. So I don't know if that made a difference. And it was also a small room. But I never had good luck with that wax. I wanted to like it because they have such cute packaging, but I didn't. Blueberry Cheesecake Ice Cream from Kittles from the Keeping Room. This is just a super creamed out blueberry scent. Really delicious. If you like creamy blueberry and you can order this, try it. You'll like it. From Daphne's, this is one of her um, chunky muffins. 
in Whipped Booberry Birthday. And this was a nice kind of like, you know, like the Frankenberry cereal. That's what it smelled like. But um, it had that creamy note from the whipped cream. And you got a little bit of that birthday in the background. It had light to medium throw. It did better in a lower watt warmer for me. But it was good. From Lung Cane Primitives, this is Lemon Funnel Cake. And this one was a light throw, but this came from somebody, so I don't know how old it was. So I can't say it was, you know, her fault that it didn't throw, the Lung Cane Primitive owner. Um, I think I believe it's Cindy. But, um... Yeah, so it could have been an older tart, I don't know. I got a light throw, but it smelled like it would have threw stronger than that, so it could have been an old tart. I'm not sure. From J. May's Soaps and Candles, this is Blueberry Cobbler. These were like little squares. Very little throw at all. And I mean, I would use two, three at a time. Still nothing. Like, I mean, I get a light, light, light scent. From Stiff My Tarts, this is Raspberry Jam Cotton Candy. Amazing. But I will say, I believe this is the one that when my mom was here, we had it melting. And it smelled yeasty. It almost smelled like beer. I'm wondering if they made the strawberry pretzel dessert and accidentally put it in this because this is a mystery bag box that I received. So I'm not sure. Whatever it was, it had a good throw, but it didn't smell. It did not smell like raspberry jam cotton candy. It smelled like strawberry pretzel dessert. But it had a good throw, and it lasted a long time. So, I don't know. Also, from Sniff My Tarts is a little muffin that I melted like a quarter of. An apple cider latte. Let's just put it this way. This was so good that the last time they opened, I believe I ordered this in a sheet cake. I loved it. You got that apple cider smell mixed in with the coffee. Really good, strong throw. It lasted quite a while. I loved it. So, I ordered a sheet cake in it. So, that was a good one. From Front Porch, Buttery Gingerbread. And this was kind of just your normal gingerbread type scent. It was a light to medium throw, but I changed my warmers that I'm using in the living room, and I think that warmer might be my problem. I got one of those Sensational Edison light bulb warmers, if you know what I'm talking about. They're a 40 watt, and they're that weird bulb, I forget what they're called. And I'm not getting anything to throw in that thing at all. So it might be my warmer and not the wax. I'll have to, I might have to switch it. Because it's driving me crazy. It's pretty to look at, but if I can't get my wax to throw, it's a waste of my money. Also from Front Porch is Lemon Buttercream Birthday Cake. This was a lighter lemon scent. I don't know if I got like the buttercream in the birthday cake. It was a light lemon and it was a light throw for me. From Sensational, not Sensationals. Scent Illusion. This was in Blueberry Trace Lay Cheesecake. And I love this one. It's those little bread knots. But <clears throat> it's a nice creamy blueberry scent. And it's a fairly strong throw for me. I do enjoy that one. Got a couple here from Rose Girls. First one is in Raspberry Brulee Coffee. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not a huge fan normally of raspberry, but I like Rose Girl's raspberry. It's a nice, sweet raspberry. And between Rose Girl's and Stiff My Tarts, they have the best coffee. I can't tell you who's better between the two because they're both equally awesome with the coffee. Um, I love this one. It's a nice, sweet raspberry with a little bit of coffee and a little bit of that cinnamon in there. It's really good. Enjoyable. <clears throat> also from Rose Girl's is Strawberry Cereal Killer. And you know they're strawberry is phenomenal and this didn't disappoint you got like that um, strawberry scent with like the sugary bits that are in the bottom of your cereal really good I love that one also this was I forget it might have came in a sampler I won or something like that I don't remember but it was cherry berry noel I think it was a sampler I purchased and I love this I really don't see a lot of cherry scents from Rose Girls but this was really good. It was a strong cherry. You got that creamy Noel in the background. It was amazing. Excuse me, I got a cough. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh. I think I'm coming down with something. All right. Moving on to Super Tarts. And this was in the scent of Starbucks coffee. And I want your guys' help. If you have melted Super Tarts, I used the whole thing in a 24 watt hot plate and I got 
a very light throw. And I know there are tons of people raving, saying they're getting like super strong throws. And this isn't the only one I melted that I got a light throw. And I want to know what I'm doing wrong because I love Brandy. I love her company. I think she's a super awesome person. And I want to love her wax. So I'm using the whole thing in a 24-watt hot plate. What am I doing wrong, guys? Please let me know because I didn't get much of a throw at all. From Kringle Candle Company, this is in the scent of fresh lilac. And I got this at a kind of like a home and garden type store, and they were like 50% off. First time trying them, they're these little tiny discs, as you can see. I still have the, like the little circular part left. And this really did good. I put it in my rush, my bathrooms in my one of my um, Better Homes and Gardens bulb plugins, and really good throw. Nice strong lilac scent. So I like that one. Onto the clamshells. This is from Auntie D's Delights, also known as Karma, in the scent of caramel mocha. Disappointed, to say the least. I put. I started off with one cube, and I did it in two separate warmers at the exact same time. Tried a 24-watt hot plate, tried the 18-watt hot plate, started off with one cube. I got nothing, so I decided I'll throw another cube in. I put two cubes in both warmers, different wattages, nothing. No send throw at all. Super disappointed in that. I don't know what's up, but wasn't good. From Sassy Girl Aroma, Sugar High. This was one I was afraid wasn't going to be a good throw because it's like a really super sweet cotton candy and cotton candy is normally not an awesome scent throw. Put this in my lemonade warmer and it threw mad crazy good. It was awesome. I loved it. Super sweet cotton candy smell. No complaints with that. From Candlelight Nights, Vanilla Hazelnut Mocha. This one was always a good throw no matter what warmer I used it in. Um, it was a nice hazelnut coffee with a touch of chocolate in the background. Really good. No complaints with that. Cafe Au Lait from Sensationals. Just a nice coffee scent. Really delicious. No matter what warmer I put it in, it does well. From Better Homes and Gardens, Honey Crisp Apple. I really like this. This is a nice, sweet apple scent. Always throws really well for me, and I just love it. It's a good scent. Last one from Better Homes and Gardens, Golden Butterscotch Pear, which is the one I stocked up on when they went on clearance especially. Just a really yummy, I love this pear scent. It's awesome. You got the pear, and you got a little bit of like, kind of like a mapley honey butterscotch type scent. It's really good. Love that. On to the few candles that I melted through. From Paula Deen, this is Baked French Toast. And as you can see, all that wax. What a waste. Um, it tunneled horribly, and then I threw it on my hot plate warmer. It was awful. Pretty much wasted my money on that one. Then the next one is from Slatkin and Company in Lavender Caramel. And this one is the one some people said smelled like McDonald's sausage biscuit or something like that. It does have an off scent to it, but it burned really good. And um, I didn't have any tunneling or the drowning wicks, so it did well for me. It did have a weird smell, but it was good. That's everything, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please comment and tell me what I'm doing wrong with my super tarts, please. I want to know. Um, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.